Hi there and welcome or welcome back. I'm Tanya from Tutty Treasures and um, today I'm going to do a little uh, project which is, uh, well it can be used for a variety of things. It can be uh, a notebook, um, so you could put some, um, you know, something, stick some things down uh, with some writing space on or you could use it to just keep your collage papers um, together or to send somebody else um, some of your um, papers and, you know, just to keep it nice. Or you could do it with plain paper and it just be uh, a notebook. So it's going to be like a faux um, envelope. So that's going to be uh, the outside of it like so and i'm just gonna layer these papers so this is from uh the memories of the meadow care let me just and these are the journal pages so all i've done is ripped it uh into two and i've inked around it so I'm going to pop that with uh, that and lengthways they need to be about the same um, ha length. If they are bigger we can fold, uh, fold them up so that one's you know a lot bigger. So we'll just fold that up. Okay and I'm going to put about 10 um, in there. So we've got that one. Got that one. That's a digital. Another book page. Got another digital here, which is just lined paper. We've got another book page. Then we've got nice image and then I've got a big one uh, this one is from Lorna at Taylor Made Journals and that's gonna go in the middle okay so I'm gonna make, try and make sure they're kind of even um, up, up, up at the top but it really doesn't matter you know it's a scrappy quick um, project and I think, you know, they're not nice and rustic if um, they're not too perfect. So I've kind of got that in the middle and I'm going to use this to um, put two holes in. So I'm using the smaller um, hole and go about halfway and about halfway hopefully i've caught those um yeah i will have so that's that and then i've got um some nice brads these are tim holtz ones and i want to put those in upside down because that will end up being um the top and put that there now if you didn't want to i've put these in thinking you know if you wanted to take the papers out to use them as collage then um you can actually take the whole page out if you wanted to just rip from it you could do it with um an eyelet you wouldn't need uh brads so either or obviously with these you've then got um, the legs you can you could cover those over no you couldn't if you wanted to open them so you, you'll just have to <laughs> put up with them and I'm going to fold that one in okay so that's that that's going to be our flap at the top and then I think that one wants folding, folding up, and this one is 
going to go up like so. Let's make sure that looks something like straight. So that's that. I'm just going to clip it together in a minute. Um, looking for my bone folder. So I'm going to use the bone folder to press it down so it's not so uh, chunky. Obviously, it has got 10 pages in. If you was using it to put in a pocket or to send and you wanted it, you know, to come under letter mail, then you could do it uh, thinner. But it's not, it's not too thick um, at all. So that's that. We're going to put a closure on. But before we do that, I've just got um another one so i'll just do this um quickly so we'll join that together we'll have that one and that one On. So very nice for those uh, front pages I have to fold books because they they look really nice. Put that in. Let's do it a bit there because then it might catch uh, both of them. We'll put that there. That's going to want folding up like that. Put that one there. And we'll put us nice one. I mean, I wonder if you could put the nice one in, in the middle, actually. So, that would be like that. And then that in there. Yeah, let's do... Oop! <laughs> lost me. Lost me what you call it. Right. I think the reason I didn't put that in is was for straightening it all. sure it's something in the middle just to guide me uh, when I put the hole in you could do it with with an awl you don't need to do it with the hole puncher I just thought it would be a bit easier so that's gonna go in and that way and we'll open Yes, I've not gone on that one, have I? That doesn't matter, though. It will catch it. And that one in here. And that way. Open that one. Like so. And then spend those legs around some of them are more softer than than others and they're quite easy to uh, manipulate around okay, I'll put that one over there that catches that so I bring that one in and that one like so that's gonna be our bottom uh, our top flap <laughs> like that. I can't move it round now because I've obviously uh, done the legs. I can move it round if I adjust the adjust the legs. Pop that like so. Just gonna clip it again just to make it easier, and we'll give it give it a squash down. So I want to find like two big labels, uh, book plate type um, pieces and I think I want some ribbon. So I've got, I've got a bit of pink on there. So that would go. And I've got a bit of lilac. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit. What about that one? 
Oh yeah, because that goes goes quite nice with that. Ooh. Right. So um, we're looking out a uh, tray, and I'm looking for something quite. Let's do that. Yeah, that could go go there. So we've got. Well, let's let's use both the the circles. It saves save scooting around so I'm gonna get the vintage photo and just ink around them I did ink the uh, pages beforehand so they're all uh, inked up let's go around here and I want something pretty uh, to put in the middle so I thought we can stick that down there. We can put his ribbon underneath there. So let's tie it first before I cut it cut it off. I'm not very good at tying. Okay. There. Like so, okay, and then do the same with this one. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Lovely. It probably would be best tying it on the top actually. I will send, uh, probably send these in uh, Patreon Happy Mail. Cause these will be, be good things to, to send. Okay, so that's, that's that. I obviously want to straight before we stick it down. I bet you it's going to be too too wide, isn't it? Okay. Oh, don't move. Okay. Right, glue. Um, I think I'll use the, I was going to say art glitter, um, well, cosmic shimmer. And I'm going to put plenty on because obviously I want to catch that ribbon and keep it there. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom as much as I can because I don't want whatever I decorate it with to be hidden. So pop that one there to to dry a little minute. I can go there. So let's open this one up. Oh. Okay. Yep. Is that still in the middle? Bit about there. Again, get some glue on it. There we go. Oops. Don't know the bottom. Okay. Yeah. And hopefully that'll that'll stay in. I think it will. Right, let's get that um, tray out again. Pop that up there. Yeah, 
Meadow cats. Look at my stamp. I'll be alright with something behind it. I was looking for that earlier. Let me just put that to the side. Um Could also um, put the string closure on, um, you know, like the policy um, closure. That'd be be nice. Uh, now I've got these little <coughs> wooden pieces. That might be nice. I'll put no. Colour wise, it doesn't, does it? What about this little snail? Oh, I like that. Oh, I do like that. I think I'm just going to stick, stick that down. I don't think it needs anything uh, behind it. So these are little, little wooden pieces. They're not very thick, but obviously they've got some. Uh, some bulk on them. Put that down for for a tick. Let that <coughs> dry. Right. Let's have a look what we've got for this one then. I'm thinking label would look nice across there. Ain't got a little frog. Oh, I like the little frog. Oh, let's do that. <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to put the label um, across it. And with these being bulky anyway, that extra bit of bulk's not going to make that mu much difference. Lovely. Right, okay. And obviously you can decorate them as much or as little as, as you want. Because um, they've got such pretty... Uh, papers on they obviously don't don't need a lot so let's just fasten this one up And I suppose you could decorate it across across the top if if you wanted. So that's one. It's a bit baggy, isn't it? Like I say, I'm not very good at pulling pulling things tight and then um, holding holding on to it as a. As I tie it, probably be better tied it there. I might be able to get it a bit tighter. And I did one before, and I did that with um, Baker's twine. So that's those two. How make them tighter? And then that's that one. So I've done that with Baker's twine, and again, that's one of the little uh, wooden pieces little blossom i've had these since last year so i thought i did want to get i wish i'd have put something on there now looks a bit looks a bit bare that's pop no i think it wants to be like there what's this say no Same one. It's the same one. <laughs> Come on. I don't 
don't know if I've got any like numbers or what have you. Blossom there. Oh, that's a different label. No. Yeah, I'm going to pop that on. Castle Road. So, there they are. I don't know what we're going to call them, um, but there they are. So, thank you very much. It was a very uh, quick, quick make. Um, I know I've done some long videos, um, so I'm going to try and get some a few smaller uh, ones done. So, I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.